Unravel the nylon mattress strap and before feeding the side rail through the loop of the nylon mattress strap, check to make sure that the side rail has a hole located on this end of the rail. This is the end that will be joined to the end frame. The hole in the side rail is to attach the leg in step 13. Although both ends of the side rail should have these holes, it is good to check. We suggest to place the strap between the first two slat holders. Place two of the required fasteners near the end frame and the remaining four fasteners near the head end frame next to the side rails. Now check to make sure the yellow label on the center rail is located closest to the end that will be connected to the end frame. Now slide the side rails and center rail together with the head frame. Then slide approximately one inch of the end frame evenly into the side rails and center rail. This will make it easier to tap the end frame together with all of the rails. The strap has a buckle that makes it very easy to attach and are very strong. You could hear a satisfying snap to know they've fastened properly. Insert the bolt through the hole of the side rail that is closest to the end frame. Add the lock washer and nut and turn clockwise. Slide the wrench onto the nut and the Allen wrench into the bolt head. Turn the Allen wrench clockwise to turn the bolt into the nut and tighten. The lock washer will exert a spring tension that keeps the fastener from vibrating loose. Now, insert the bolts through the two holes on the other end of the side rail. Add the lock washer and nut and turn clockwise. Again, use the wrench and Allen wrench to tighten. Continue to the other side and repeat these steps. Here's a next bed fun fact. The fasteners used to attach the next bed frames and rails together are with hex drive button head bolts. This type of bolt has a flat underside, giving the ability to distribute the load evenly across the surface. The rounded, low profile dome top is great in achieving minimal protrusion above the surface. This feature makes them ideal for applications where a smooth, finished appearance is desired. The low profile design also minimizes the risk of snagging or catching of your bedding, clothing, or jewelry. And the Allen wrench will grip better than other common screwdrivers and protect against unintentional stripping of the fastener during installation or removal. Place two of the required fasteners near the end frame next to one of the side rails and the remaining two fasteners near the end frame next to the other side rail. Insert the bolts into the two holes of the side rail. One is located at the top and the other is directly beneath it at the bottom. Use the Allen wrench and turn clockwise to turn the bolt into the threaded tube that is welded from inside the rail. Continue to the other side and repeat these steps.
Place two of the required fasteners near the head frame next to the center rail and the remaining two fasteners near the end frame next to the center rail. Insert the bolts through the two holes of the center rail. Add the lock washers and nuts and turn clockwise. Slide the wrench onto the nut and the Allen wrench into the bolt head. Turn the wrench clockwise to turn the nut onto the bolt and tighten. Continue to the other end of the center rail and repeat these steps. Place an open slot holder along with a self-tapping screw next to each of the pre-drilled pilot holes in all of the rails. Place the open slot holder on top of the rail with the hole in the open slot holder in line with the pre-drilled pilot hole in the rail. Use the number two Phillips screwdriver Turn the self-tapping screw clockwise to tighten. Continue with the remaining open slot holders and repeat these steps. Place the two mattress retainer bars by the head frame along with the required fasteners. Place the mattress retainer bar onto the head frame aligning the holes of the retainer bar with those of the head frame and insert bolts. Add the washers and nylock nuts and tighten. Now, slide the wrench onto the nut and the Allen wrench into the bolt head. Turn the Allen wrench clockwise to turn the bolt into the nylock nut and tighten. Continue to the other mattress retainer bar and repeat these steps. <laughs> 